what's been offered is probably not enough, not even enough to feed my family. You know, you know, my wife is hardcore, you know. Every problem she gives him. Me, you know, I'm, I'm a bit, you know, of course I, I believe in God, I believe. It's just, you know, sometimes I'm too self-reliant or rely on my own knowledge. There have been some thoughts and doubts of hanging it up, hang the boots up. I just feel like I've got too much to give. I just feel like I, I still got more to give. Nah, I wasn't raised like this, come on. I'm a Nahoka all the way. All the way till there's 0% left in me. Because right now there's 0.5. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a pretty drastic news yesterday. Um, obviously the vlog from uh, my hamstring testing and stuff just dropped yesterday um, for my return um, after my hamstring tear back in October, which was about four months ago. Um, and the vlog for the last part um, had just dropped yesterday um, on, on, on the channel and while that dropped I was at training and um, I've just gone and <sighs> ruptured my Achilles um, so, um, yeah so operation I straight away had to go see the surgeon um, and yeah pretty much confirmed it was ruptured and would need operation and that could be uh, out for six to nine months um, at the time you know I felt like I worked so hard in that last four months to come back and and um, be back playing as I was up I was in the team to play uh, this week trained well felt good um, there's nothing uh, we could have done to stop this ruptured Achilles really um, talking to the physios talking to you know all the professionals and that I needed to talk to um, you know my numbers were good during the week the last few weeks have been running fine um, my body felt good like no tightness or or anything it was just one of those things where it's just the worst the worst luck ever um yeah so i just went to take off and it felt like someone had tripped me up or you know like i felt like someone like a sniper hit me but you know i'll, I'll we'll put the video in of, of of what actually happened but um yeah, I just felt like, even the boys felt like a big pop, like a pop sound. Um, it was funny because I, as soon as I fell, I looked behind me to the guy that, the first person there, and I was like, why did why did he trip me up? Why did you, and he, and he was puzzled, like, I wasn't near you, like, no one, no one tripped you up. So, that's when I knew, I was like, okay, something's gone here so <sighs> yeah went straight in <clears throat> knew straight away so yeah um not gonna lie the first couple hours it took uh like i was shaking eh i was shaking i think it's more like of course i'm gutted you know i worked hard the last four months to get back and it's been injury after injury over the last couple years um but I think what makes it worse is, is the situation we're in at the moment in terms of uh, Welsh rugby and contract situations and being on, as I'm out of contract. So, you know, my uh, in, in about four months time, my, my pay is finished. And, you know, with the uh, situation with Welsh rugby in terms of funding and, and things like that and what's available to us as players, um, you know, 
what's been offered is probably not enough, not even enough to feed my family. Like, um, you know, it could probably be enough to, to for a, you know, maybe a single person or a person with no kids or something like that could probably get by with it, but, um, yeah. Uh, so that's, that's the tough part, and on top of that, being injured since October, um, you know, my agent's been working hard to um, get clubs to look at me for my return. That was meant to be this Saturday. Um, so, you know, there were a few clubs that were prepared to take me on. Um, just wanted to watch a game or two and, and get my signature. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's made it harder now. So... I think that's the hard part, just that situation and the, the uncertainty of it all. Um, you know, as a father and a husband, you just want to feel that sense of like security that knowing you can provide for your kids and um, maybe I'm thinking too far ahead and have you know I briefly spoke to my agent and. We'll, we'll speak to him after the operation, but you know, it's just those are all the things that were coming in my mind. And on on the way to to the surgeon, I was like, I don't know, I think I was starting to shake a bit, like I was having an experience where I was like, I don't know, it felt like that before, but um, yeah. I guess, I guess, you know, it's out of my control now, like there's literally nothing I can do to to get me a contract, like I, I, I'm out, this is going to take me out until next season, but my the current season contract finishes in July, after July I've got, I've got another three, four months before I'm back playing, so it's going to be hard to get a contract, so I guess... Um, you know, other people have other ha other people have avenues of 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 what to do, and or they break down, or they I don't know. But you know, it's just us over here being on this side of the world, and um, you know, um, growing up in the church, I guess, um, and then now marrying my wife, who's a um, really hardcore Christian faith-driven lady. Um, I guess that's that's all I can rely on at the moment. Just rely on faith and hope that you know something will get there. And maybe it's uh, maybe it's a sign to. Maybe like I'm I'm backed in a corner, like I got I, I literally it's out of my control. I can't come back and and play um, for another contract. I I can't do anything. Like what I can do is just up and try and get back. But uh, but it's it's gonna be too late. So I guess when you get backed in the corner, it's just the only you know anything I can do is lock up, lock up and. Pray, I mean, strengthen the faith a bit, and rely on God a bit more. Cause you know, I've been I've been relying on myself too much, relying on myself to, to control the outcomes of things, and in terms of playing and trying to get back and play and carve up. And but now it's out of my control, so you know, I guess I guess that's. That's yeah, so what's next is just to look to the man upstairs and just pray, hope, and have faith that you know. I guess that's that's what he wants as well. He wants he wants me to come to him. You know, 
you know, my wife is hardcore, you know, so my wife is, you know, every problem she gives him. Me, you know, I'm I'm a bit, you know, of course, I, I believe in God, I believe, you know, of course I'm a, you know, it's just, you know, sometimes I'm too self-reliant or rely on my own knowledge or things like that, you know, and... I guess sometimes you just gotta take it to him. And he's probably given me how many warnings now to take it to him and I've just keep relying on myself. But um I'm back in the corner now, it's out of my control. So yeah, this is day one. Um I got my operation in about three days, booked in for Tuesday. It's Friday today, so I did my uh was meant to play tomorrow, so I ruptured it yesterday. So um, yeah, it's day one. Um, I should be resting and chilling, but um, I'm glad to that I'm gonna miss my my also Ray Lilo's 150th game to, um, on Saturday, which was I was really excited for. Um, he's got his jersey presentation today, so you know. I know mentally I'm not in a in, in the right space to 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 go in and see the boys and and stuff like that. But that's why we call brotherhood, man. As Ray's been there for us so many times. He came he came straight over yesterday and you know got me out of the funk, got me in a in a better mood and talked to life into me from a male male perspective. You know, you know my wife always talks life into me, but um. Yeah, Ray uh, came over and, you know, from a man's perspective, from a male perspective, to you know keep fighting and 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 not to, and to not to worry that he will be there for us. Him and his family will be there for us. Um, but um, yeah, that's brotherhood, you know. I'm gonna and I'm gonna I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go and go in and turn up for his jersey presentation today and. You know, and maybe it'll be a good example for the boys to get them up for the game this week. Because, um, you know, some boys are out of contract, some boys are in contract, but, you know, the brotherhood is the brotherhood. So uh, maybe it'll be a good example to see that, you know, even though I've, this is fresh and I'm going through this mentally and emotionally, um, I can still park it and turn up for my brother and hopefully they can you know um take that and park park up their worries of of their futures and and their contract stuff and, and stuff and, and turn up on Saturday for for Ray as well but for now this is uh, day 1 um I'll probably do some vlogs like this more often I was to my wife but I think it's uh now like with so many injuries um, I don't know, there's probably a way of therapy just to let it out. Um, I'm probably not even going to watch these, these when, they, when they're going on YouTube. I just, I'm just going to record and talk and let it out. And let, let my wife do her thing and edit and stuff like that. But I'm probably not even going to watch it. I just, this is just a way of me of to, to let it out and you know, just follow me on the journey. Be some good days, be some bad days, but like I said, I'm backed into a corner now. Just gotta rely on the big man, get closer to the big man upstairs. Um, yeah, we'll see. Um, hopefully there's a little video of, uh, of me there. Um, the jersey presentation and we'll go from there so yeah i'm gutted man honestly i'm gutted um you know there have been some thoughts and doubts of hanging it up hang the boots up but i don't know i just feel like i've got too much to give i, I just feel like I, I still got more to give Nah, 
I wasn't raised like this, come on. And I hock out all the way. All the way till the zero percent left in me. Because right now there's zero point five. <laughs> Yeah, all good. Thanks for listening, guys. Um, keep you updated. Come on a regular journey now. So this, this is gonna be an uh, interesting one with uh, operation, rehab, what's going on. Don't know where we're gonna be next. Don't know what's gonna be offered to an injured player. Nothing. Like. Me and my agent had a certain number, certain goal we were going to go for when I get back to playing and, and prove to coaches, you know, I'm worth signing. But now I'm probably at the bottom of the list now as an injured player. And that's the re reality of, of of rugby and yeah. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> okay. Fuck.